Hey everyone, it's the Saint back with another King of the Hill match, and we're using the low S with a silencer on it again. Uh, really, really liking this gun, especially on certain maps, and it's great for spots like this. It will take that guy down. We're not going to KO him yet. Let him get that revive pack, and we'll... that guy was nice enough to run in for the double down. Let's go. Uh... Be patient, let things come to us, circle around, and we did a whole team wipe. Let's speed on up to the action. This is the uh, same loadout I used in my challenge video for getting 50 plus downs at the lowest. I'm not really sure how that guy got that angle on me when I was behind cover, but I think I could have gotten a team wipe there if he didn't see me. But like I've said before, this is all about getting the right angle. You can't just stand out in the open and shoot because there will always be someone right there next to them. Ready to shoot you from the side or at the back. This is one of my favorite hills in the game because it can go uncontested for quite a while. That guy, I don't, I don't know how he got that blind fire down. The pack 80 is pretty good at blind firing. Let them run past us. I said this before, I like using the silencer because it helps me like slow down. Sometimes I get like way overly aggressive. It helps me stay patient. I really like this map too, Madagascar City, it's not too big. A lot of interesting hills, a lot of places to hide even. Good angles to shoot from, good places to bounce grenades from. I'll get a blind fire kill of my own here. Now watch this grenade. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, I guess in the future I'll bounce that off the wall. But I mean, that's a perfectly good nade. It just goes completely randomly sideways. So we're off to a good start here. 15 and 3, that's not too bad. Toss a nade up there. I was trying to bounce it off either the savior or that ledge right there. And I only KO'd the savior and marked the other guy. Grenades can be a little bit finicky. You can land right next to someone and only stun them. I've had it not even stun them or mark them. Pretty odd. We'll speed up here to get back into the action. This guy was just randomly up there. I guess maybe he was thinking I was going to flank. So, gotta change up the strategy a little bit, and be a little bit more careful. Look at these three guys just sitting there, <laughs> ready for the grenade. And I threw this other grenade, I thought I was aimed a little more towards the middle, so that was a little bit of a fail. <laughs> I could have followed that up nicely. And then I see a guy using Shield of Asgard, and I was trying to come in for the melee hook, but, uh, and it would have worked, except another guy came in and uh, smacked me with his gun. See my teammate over there <laughs> trying to melee me. It's that same guy up there on that tin roof that was trying to hide and get me. So we'll change things up, go down through here. Always keep checking out your mini map too, guys. It'll let you know someone oftentimes if someone's gonna flank or if one of your teammates needs help or what. Good work. Like I said, this is a fun hill because you can contest it forever. Both sides of the hill are pretty good, upper upper and lower side. 
we were able to pull off King of the Hill. I have gotten better about that jumping away from grenades rather than rolling away. I've always had a habit of just rolling away and then it usually gets me like a stun or something. Really love the low S. You saw that down right there. In situations like this, it just fires so steadily right over those ledges. And I'm able to just get those headshots and get a quick down. Like, I'm not sure I would have gotten that down with an HS. As our teammate completely wastes an Eldorado. Going back around a different way for a flank here. Always useful to know the spawn points. Like I knew someone was almost for sure coming from that direction. That's the same guy. Oh, he's always going to be trying to hide around the corner or around the back. Because he knows I'm using silencer and stealth. But I'm being more careful and taking some different routes. gonna get away from this hunter right here you know take him out really quickly right here and then get behind cover but got that like I got that lag kill so this is good pretty even match you know we're 5v5 but uh for, for most of for a lot of the way through not most of it but um you know we do have a player here leave in just a minute and that's really frustrating I, I know sometimes people lag out but I can't always be that and I see tons of people leave after the halfway point of the game and for anyone that doesn't know after the halfway point of the game like uh, score wise then no new players can go in. and so you're just left short-handed and that's a five piece of Five versus three or four or four on two even and so let's try to finish games out guys you know it's more fun for everyone it's not that much time I actually didn't see that group of guys at first that was a failed grenade if I would have seen them right away I would have tossed a grenade on them gotten probably three of them down as I get China liked out of nowhere So I see my teammates have that pretty well held down, so I'm going to go around and flank and stop any charge from coming in. I don't know how this didn't get this guy down, but my teammates were shooting him from the other direction, so he's forced to come back, and he's dead. Man, I need a miracle right here. I don't know if they just, if there was too much chaos. This guy was trying to kick me down when he should have tried to shoot me down. He killed himself that way, and then... Great revive by my teammates. You pay attention to the scores for sure as the games go on and see if you need to take a chance to revive someone, like if they're getting a lot of downs like I am in this game. Your chances are better if that teammate is up and alive. And it's worth that risk. Yeah, you can see we're four on five. Teammates are okay, they're not not, not great, but um, it was a pretty even match. Gonna have to work extra hard with that 4v5. Like I always say, I love taking out sidekicks because I mean, just a brute can stop your whole push. 
and win a game for a team. Same thing with the savior, can just keep picking up people behind cover. This is where the low S frustrates me, like I'm not sure how I didn't kill that guy immediately. And then also I didn't get the kill on the second push. I'm normally all for reviving teammates, but uh, I was really carrying the team here and I didn't want them to get victory hill off of this, so I knew I needed to get in there quickly and uh, wipe their team. So like that guy would have been revived. See, I got four of them there. Yeah, switch classes to Eldorado since I have $6,000. Nice revive by my teammate. But they got Victory Hill anyway, so we got a double Victory Hill. I have six thousand dollars, but I have nothing to spend on a, spend on this loadout, so I'm just gonna jump off, KO myself, switch to El Dorado. Let's get this party started. That uh, that's maybe my favorite mystical, either that or Indra's Eternity. Indra's Eternity is just so good because it can trap a team, there, and uh, it's really cheap. You know, like you can buy a first one for four hundred bucks. Not using silencer anymore, but still being patient. Tossed an Eldorado out. Got down me really fast somehow. Toss another Eldorado out where no one can run in. Follow this hunter. Now I'm just going to go around because I knew they'd be spawning and going in from over here. Plus I see their two red dots on the minimap. This hunter definitely slowed me down, but got the quick pull down reaction, and I can see one of their team uh, just running around the back there. Our teammate, my teammates, I don't know what they were doing. I don't know what happened here. I go throw this El Dorado in, and I release it, and it didn't release right away, and then it just got thrown into the wall. So El Dorado isn't hitting this guy in the hill at all. So he's just sitting there in the back, and I get shot from a mile away with an ARX. My teammates are nowhere near the hill, so this was a this was a frustrating loss right here. Especially since I would I should have gotten 50 downs, which was uh, a challenge of mine with the low S, and I came up just short at 48 and I had 26 assists, so still a pretty good game. I hope you guys enjoyed.